If you are interested in making a timeless video of your 3D print, this is the video for you. In the last video, which you can find up here, uh, we learned how to install OctoPrint. So if this is new to you, I suggest you go check that out first. But if your next step is a print like this, enjoy the video. I will leave all the links down below for things you might need. So let's get started by firing up OctoPrint and our Raspberry Pi. At this point, I'm not connected to my printer. I only want to try to install the plugin. The first thing we have to do is go to settings. So we pr press the branch up in the right corner. And from there we go to plugin manager. Get more. And here we search for Octolabs. Once it shows in the results, you just click install. Here we have our first problem. I can't press the install button. Apparently the power supply is very important and therefore it doesn't install it. At least 5 volts and minimum 2.5 amperes. So after buying a new cable, let's try again. Plugin manager, get more and from there we search for Octolabs. And press install. And voila, it works. I'll be back once it's finished. When it's finished installing, it wants you to restart Octoprint. So just close the window and press restart now. It asks you if you are sure and you press yes or accept. Just wait for it to reload and once it's done, you will have Octolabs installed. You can find it up in the right corner. You will see there is a new tab or what you call it. And this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. The first thing we have to do is to create a printer profile. And in the profile section, you name your printer. Uh, in my case, it's Mr. Nike. And in the description, you write whatever you want, like uh, living room printer or uh, business printer. I don't know. I name mine after the only printer I had, the Creality Ender 3 Pro. In the next step, you import your printer. Just click the window and scroll down till you find your printer. As I said, in my case, it's the Creality Ender 3 Pro. And then you just press OK to update your profile. Next step is to choose your slicer software. My slicer is the Cura 5.2.2. So I will choose Cura 4.2 or above. So it's time to launch Cura to find some settings that we need. For the layer higher, we go 0 0.2, travel speed 150. C hub speed 5, Z hub height 0 0.2. And if there is a setting you cannot find, you can just write it in the search bar and you will find it there. As I did here for the retraction prime speed, which is 25. And retraction speed is also 25. And the retraction distance is 6.5. Your settings may be different than mine, so please check so you have the right settings for your printer. Double check everything and when you are satisfied, you can just press save. And now, instead of doing it like this, We can just open our STL with our slicer program. Choose all your settings like support and so on. Press slice. Just wait until it's done. And then you can go watch your preview if you want to. You can watch every layer step by step. And then instead of saving it to your SD card, you just save it to your computer. For this tutorial, I just saved it to my desktop so I could find it easy. And once you saved it, you go back to Octoprint, 
upload and you choose your G code there. That's how easy it is and we just uploaded our first print to Octoprint. No more SD card. I haven't connected the Raspberry Pi to the printer yet, but let's do that now. I still get the under voltage message, I don't know why, and if you do know why, please let me know. And FYI, this is after I changed my power supply. Now when everything's done, I'm just looking around a little bit. I can see my webcam cam is working, and at this point I just want to make myself comfortable with the software a little bit. It took me a while to realize I had to connect my printer to Octoprint. But when that was done, I could see my temperature, I could see some codes, I could move my printer from my computer. And finally, it's time to start our first print. And remember, I'm doing this from my computer. Once the G-code is uploaded to Octoprint, you can actually just start to print, but I wanted to check out everything a little bit, so I manually changed the temperature to what I wanted for the print. And you can watch it here in Octoprint real time as it goes up to the desired temperature. Next, I wanted to try to move my printer from my computer, so I told it to go home. And as you can see here, that was no problem at all. In Octolabs, you can choose where you want your nozzle to be when you want to take the snapshot. I just uh, go with all the regular settings here. Test mode has to be disabled or it won't work to print. It wants me again with under voltage, but I just agree anyway because I know I have the uh, sufficient power supply. Here you can see every layer where the printer head will be as it takes the snapshot. In my print here, the head will be at the home position when it takes its first snapshot. And you can watch layer by layer if you want to. At this point we are almost done. The only thing left is to start the print. Let's go check the camera. And here we go. You can now watch your printer head live as it's moving along the bed and follow it step by step in the terminal section. And finally, our first print is done. You can now press the video and image button. Here it will show all your time-lapse videos that are saved. I only have this one because it's our first. The only thing left is to save it. After that, you just go to your download folder and Pick it up there and then open it up in your video player and enjoy. I hope this video helped you with some questions that you had. And also feel free to comment down below if there's anything I missed or if there's something more you would like to know. I would also appreciate if you tell me what you want to see next what you want me to print or if there's any special plugin you want to see. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get some awesome time lapse of your 3D prints and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye!